I googled myself. I googled my school and discovered this about it. And that's what we're going to be reacting to. What's good, boys? And girls. And cats and dogs and chickens and turkeys and rabbits. Greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes, lambs, yams, hogs, dogs. It's your boy. Jay Gaming V acting. And what? And what? And more in today. Today, today, today. I'm going to be reacting to another animated story called I Googled my, my School and Discovered This About It. So, let's see what, the, what, what, what secrets our school has been hiding. Before we start, make sure you always like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the bell notifications. And uh, yeah, let's go right into this video. Are y'all ready? Because I'm ready to see what their school has been hiding. Let's go. Mom, why? I whined like a three-year-old. This is very important, Ethan. I'm sorry that it's an uncomfortable situation for you, but you will be grateful in the end, she answered. My school is perfect already. I've made tons of awesome friends. My teachers are great, and I'm the best one on the swim team. How can you change my school now for no... Bruh, I hate that, bruh. As soon as you start making friends, bruh. You start being uh, being pretty good at your at the at, at your team, right? And you don't want to move. You're doing pretty good. You don't want to move out of nowhere. Move. I don't like that, man. I don't like that, man. <laughs> the only communication is on Instagram, man. That's the only communication, right? <laughs> Let's go right into it. And I continued. Before I go on, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. No. I heard that you're. Ah. I want you to react I mean, to like and subscribe on this channel. Rush will text you later if you do. Mm. East Gray High School is That's the best. Cap. Yes, your current school is fine, but we want you to have the best possible education. Anyway, okay. it's about time you went to sleep. It's your first day tomorrow, said my dad. I stormed up to my room and sank into my bed. It was Sunday night, and my parents only told me on the previous Friday that they had changed my school. They didn't ask for my input, opinion, or anything. They just threw this on me, and I... Yeah, that's how, that's how, that's how, that's how parents are, man. That's, that's how parents are, man. No preparation. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye to my friends. The next day, I woke up moody as hell. Ethan, I made your favorite breakfast. Hurry up and get ready for school. I'm sure you're going to have an exciting day, nope. said my mom <laughs> as she tried to get me out of bed. I'm not going, I said. She gave me Bro, the first day of school is always whack. I mean, like a new school. It's always whack, bro. Because you don't know nobody, man. You don't know nobody. Like, a good thing is to go on, like, their that school webpage on Instagram. Follow somebody on there. And see if they follow you back. And then and talk to them. Make good friends with them. So you don't have to worry about it. But I hate that, man. Upstairs, so I quickly got up and did as she asked. We drove to a location in the middle of the city. We're here, said my dad. What? This doesn't look like a school, I exclaimed. Outside, I saw a modern high-rise building. It must have been 30 stories high. Not your typical... What school look like that? What school look like that? Do your school look like... Your school don't look like that. At all. That's a whole hotel there. We walked in, and there was a receptionist on the ground floor. That's a hotel. Hello, Ethan. Welcome to our school. That's a Your hotel. Your homeroom is on the 10th floor. Mr. Randolph will guide you, she said. Suddenly, a man dressed like a butler appeared and held his hand out. Oh, so this carry is a your things school. to your class, said the receptionist. Is this a school or a hotel? I asked my mom. She winked and said, I'll pick you up after school. Have a great day, honey. Then she left. I was guided to my classroom, which looks nothing like a real classroom. It almost looked like the interior of some weird kind of spaceship. Every student had a computer at their desk, and most of them looked serious. Or seriously nerdy. <laughs> the place was re- <laughs> They were like, according to my calculations, I think this is the answer. <laughs> Ridiculously luxurious, and apparently personal assistants were assigned to each class. They were like servants, but for the students. There were about 12 other students in my class. In fact, 
I don't think the entire school had more than 100 students. It was extremely puzzling, given the size of the whole place. Why did the school need so much space? The teachers were also out of this world. They were all impeccably dressed in the most expensive business suits, and they drove the most expensive cars. They didn't seem quite passionate about their jobs either. They weren't like the typical teachers I had in the past who were always smiling and speaking positively. They spoke like they were quite bored with their students most of the time. I was still able to understand what they were teaching, though. I don't think my classmates were any better. Most of them. Were Dang! So the only bad thing about our school is that no one had is in, in, is um ex. I don't know how to say. Ex, I I guess excited. Yeah, no one's there excited. Dang, that's tough. Weird. That school is dead, man. I did make one friend though. Her name was Debbie, and she had started going to this school last year. Just like Never me, she was transferred like abruptly without any warning from her parents. She didn't want to change schools either. One afternoon, we were enjoying a three-course meal in our school's plush cafeteria when she blurted out, Ethan, this place is just weird. I feel like something just isn't right. I want to get to the bottom of it all. What do you suggest we do? Oh, it's one of those schools where it's too good to be true. The school is too good to be a good school. Asked. We can start by doing some research. See what you can find online. I'll talk to the other students to find out if they know Nosey. anything or are suspicious about anything, she replied. Okay, I said while slurping down the rest of my non-alcoholic champagne. That night, I typed the name of my school into Google to see what I could discover. I didn't find anything interesting at first. The school's website just showed pictures of the luxurious rooms, while other websites simply gave directions to the school. I continued clicking next until I, I came to an interesting it's already chat a hotel room, which there. appeared to have already. been closed five years ago. It was created by a past student of East Gray High School, and students typed comments about what they loved or remembered about the place. The most puzzling comment was by a person named Diana. She typed, This school isn't ordinary. It is a facility created to train your minds and condition you to hold leadership positions within our country's government. Our parents are all part of a secret society which controls the world. We're owned by this... So they're all from the government, man. I know it. The freaking government is controlling that school. Society, and they feel like it is their right to do whatever they please with us. There's a but school why are they in almost every country in the world. This seemed far-fetched to me. My parents were pretty transparent with me most of the time, and I couldn't imagine that they'd be part of a secret society. I continued reading. If you don't believe me, there is a floor beneath the main ground floor. To get there, you must press one three times as soon as you enter the elevator. When you get to that floor, walk straight ahead and open the fourth door on your right. That door will lead you to an underground... Why three times? Why you gotta press it three times? Don't make sense, man. Just don't melt with that room. Secret room. That room contains classified documents about everyone who has ever attended East Gray High, as well as the role they were selected to fulfill, and how they are controlling society today. It started to seem believable, and I started to feel afraid. Since I was little, it was my dream to someday become a famous interior designer. But according to this conspiracy, okay, I can never be able to achieve my own dreams talking, as my man. life belonged to... I asked. The building was closed and in complete darkness. Here, I stole this from the receptionist's desk before I left today, she said while showing me a card. She swiped it at the door and it Also, opened. it's dark. We it's went night. to the elevator and did like Diane said. We pressed one three times, and we went down quickly. Oh my god, what are we doing? I said. Don't be a baby, Debbie responded. When the elevator door opened on the secret floor, we saw a well-lit white room with many doors. She said it would be the fourth door on the what right as soon as we get out, there? I said. We walked out of the elevator carefully, then laughed as we both realized we'd been tiptoeing. We got to the correct door, and luckily, it wasn't locked. We opened the door and went inside. It was completely different from the white walls outside. It was a royal blue room with many computers, which were surprisingly on, and filing cabinets, which were labeled in alphabetical order. Whoa, she wasn't kidding, I exclaimed. I told you, Debbie replied. We began searching. My last name was John, so I looked through the cabinet labeled J. I looked through at least 50 files until I found mine. I opened the folder, and inside, I found... Bro, that school is huge, bro. That school was huge, bro. But, like, on the outside, it doesn't seem that big, though. On the outside, it doesn't seem that big. 
But it is huge, bear. So much information about me. My birth certificate, health records, report cards for is my this previous freaking schools, college? This is college, not freaking high school. Child. The freakiest thing I found was an envelope labeled Future Plans. I opened it carefully and read what was inside. Ethan John has been observed from birth, and we have found him to be analytical and level-headed. Although he has a propensity towards the arts, we believe he is best suited for work leading one of our military units. Thus, he will be hey, trained for this uh, field of work and- Sort of getting people who not even functioning yet. Oh, like kids, bro. Literally babies who ain't been born yet. And trying to train them to be a, um, in the government, in the, in the army for the government, bro. Sent to pursue work for the government. Military. Jeez, I can't East Gray High. What? The military of all things? I said, feeling disgusted. You should see what I found. Every important leader in our state has attended this school. This is really crazy. I found my file, too. And apparently, they want me to become a mayor eventually. Debbie laughed. <laughs> What do we do now that we found out all of this? I asked. This is probably Think a long video. All of the pictures on Snapchat in between. When we were done, we left the room, went back upstairs, and went home. We did think that it was weird that there were no security guards around, but we felt lucky to have not been caught. The I next day, at breakfast, any... I broke the news to my security. parents. Hey, mom and dad. I never thought you two were such liars, I said. Oh. What? My mom said while dropping her fork. My dad stared, shocked. I know that you are part of a secret society and that you only changed my school because you were forced to. Well, now it goes to kid. He's dead. Because he knows too They're like, he knows. Oh, when you He knows too much. And then they kill him. Dead. Off the face of the planet. But do you think it's right that I should have to suffer because you've chosen to live your life a certain way? Oh. I want to live my own life, and you can't dictate my future to me, oh. I said calmly. How did you find that out? Anyway, you will have no choice but to do as we say. We can face a lot of harm if we go against the society's wishes, said my dad. Nope. You can't force me to do anything I don't want to do. If you don't send me back to my old school, I'll release all the information I discovered to the press, I said, oh. while showing them the pictures and videos I had Dang. taken the night before. So this kid about to arrest him, bro. This kid's about to arrest him. Snitch. <laughs> you about to snitch. Snitch nine out I here, I let them right? know that I had no intention of going back to that school that day. I left the table and went to my room. After spending a few hours playing video games and listening to music, my parents finally knocked on my door and said they wanted to speak to me. They had to reveal to the society that I knew everything, and in order to protect their privacy, they said I could go back to living a normal life. However, my parents were demoted. This meant that they would have their well-paying jobs taken away from them and they would have to settle for less. I was sent back to my old school. You snitched. After, but my parents were never the same, and we didn't have much money. Because you snitched, man. You snitched. Anyway, bro, that's the end of the video. What do you think about this, bro? He He's a little snitch. If he didn't ever said nothing, he could have been still sitting, laying there. I mean, sitting, I mean, like, he could have been still going to that school and still doing good things, bro. Not good things, but you know. I ain't have to worry about nothing. Because he never got in trouble or nothing. Anyway, bro. If you like this video, bro. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is probably more than 15 minutes. Turn the bell notifications. Tell me how you react to next. I'll see you on the next one.